Hey guys, Ankur here from Only Gizmos. I'm about to move from this 16 inch 2019 i7 MacBook Pro, which I incidentally just bought three months back. I'm moving away from this to the new M1 good old 13 inch MacBook Air. And I'm going to talk about why I'm making this switch. Now, a little advice or a little caveat before we talk about this first. I am making the switch. That doesn't mean that I am saying everyone needs to make this switch or everyone should make this switch. Or I am claiming that M1 Air is absolutely the best laptop out there and everyone should ditch their 16 inch MacBook Pros. There's a lot of nuance involved and I hope to get into that in this video. For the last 10 years of my MacBook usage, I have always used a 13 inch MacBook Pro. My last machine was a 2015 MacBook Pro, which had a HDMI port, Retina display, USB ports on both sides. It was a fantastic machine. Uh, it started to give up a few months back. I had to upgrade and I said, let me go with the best in the market so that I don't have to worry about what I'm using for the next five years. And I picked up the i7 16 inch uh, MacBook Pro. The, on the spec side, the most important thing for me was the 16 GB RAM because RAM, I believe, was the biggest limiting factor on my previous Pro. The 16 inch model came with a 16 GB RAM even on the base model and that I believe is sufficient for most of the things which I do today. But now that the M1 machines are out, I'm going with the Air, which has only about 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. I would likely upgrade to a 512 GB model once it ships. But um, for now, it is this model that I'm going with. And the primary reason for this, or one important reason for this, is the weight, the flexibility, the compactness of this machine. The 16-inch version, I love the screen real estate. I will miss it but it's just a little too heavy for me. I carry it to office every day and most of my usage happens with a 32 inch external display anyway. So the screen size on the laptop isn't really helping me though it's a gorgeous display. The second thing is my GPU usage isn't as high as in I don't really need that discrete AMD GPU which this 16 inch machine has and the M1 manages to do such brilliant work on the processor side. The single core processor on this M1 Air is out of the world. It's better than even a i9 16 inch MacBook Pro. So for most of my work, which is Slack, Zoom calls, lot of browsing, say 30, 40 tabs open at any point in time, all of that work, even with heavy multitasking, works just fine on the M1 Air, much better than my fire old MacBook Pro and even better or really comparable to this 16 inch MacBook Pro. At the same time, I also do some amount of video editing, which is 4K video editing with typical clips like this. And I really don't need a monster like the 16 inch MacBook Pro with a discrete GPU to edit these videos. The MacBook Air for the first time, I believe can now smoothly edit these 4K videos that I'm creating. So why should I go for a machine which is costing more than two times the cost of this M1 Air. So that cost, weight, performance, all of this becomes a factor for me to say that, hey, if I really don't need uh, those pro features in the GPU, for once a base model MacBook just manages to do everything fine. And that, that's where I think M1 is a game changer. For most people, the M1 Air is going to be just enough. There is no fan, the system runs cool, it can handle 4K videos absolutely fine. It can edit them, render them. So what else do you need? Unless you are really a power user looking at gaming or really professional video editing, why would you go for a machine which is so much more expensive and comes with, say, a better GPU? You really don't need it for most of the things that you do in day-to-day -day computing. So that's one of my biggest uh, sort of comparison factors that the air has just gotten so much better. Why not stick with a machine which is portable, lightweight, much more uh, powerful and cheaper, lighter on the pocket. There are a few things which I still have to give up to go to the M1 Air. The most important being the two extra USB-C ports which the 16-inch MacBook Pro has. And it's not fun going from four USB-C ports to two 
But given that most of our accessories, my good old Microsoft Natural 4000 keyboard and my mouse, all of them are USB-A. So I need adapters anyway to connect them to my Mac. And for that reason, I have just ordered an Anchor USB-C to multi-port adapter from US. It's very expensive in India to get these good adapters but we have to dwell into them, we have to play with them. And if I'm getting an adapter, then it doesn't matter if I have two ports or four, I'll be using an extension and adapter anyway. Would I love to go back to a 16 inch MacBook Pro, say if Apple comes out with the M2 chip next year and just blows everything else out of the water? Maybe, but only if they manage to reduce the weight of this machine and for God's sake, a better web camera. If Apple does not upgrade or rather let me put it this way if I am to upgrade my MacBook Air ever it will only happen after Apple gets their shit together with webcams on their machines. So that's it from me I just wanted to make a quick video not take too much of your time and tell you why I'm giving up this beautiful baby the 16 inch MacBook Pro.